Good evening and salutations, my Days of Our Lives fans. You know, I gotta sit there and say, just off rip, this might be the best cliffhanger so far out the four. Now, I didn't watch the other three yet, but, um, EJ is, uh, he's not having a good day. And as much as I like EJ, um, I couldn't think of a better person to have such a lousy dad. <clears throat> the level of arrogance that this man has had so far has just been staggering. And in this episode, if you're looking for EJ to start to lose things and for him to start taking those L's, well, then you came to the right place and you watched the right episode. Because he is all super arrogant, talking to his assistant, buying up stocks, making sure that he's ready for whatever to come. He gets a call from Paulina. Now, Stefan informs EJ, which I didn't know. Apparently, you can't be full-time CEO and also full-time DA. Can't do it. Also, he is... Ignoring the evidence or ignoring the possibility that Gabby didn't do it. He's just like, nope. You know, at the very least, it, it, it creates a certain level of doubt. On top of the fact that EJ isn't really doing any favors politically wise. He's been making mistakes with Tate and everything. So he, he got to give him, right? So EJ comes in there. He acts as smug as usual, trying to talk down to her about, you know, why he didn't reopen the case. And then she's like, you know, you're, you're going to do this or else whatever, right? He's like, or else what? You're going to fire me? He's like, no, 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 no. This is already, this is already happening. So right there, around right the spot, the minute he walked in, he was fired. Okay? The minute he walked in, he was fired. He just wants to sit there and see how much rope he was going to hang himself with. So when she basically was like, yep, you're fired. And I said, the look on his face was priceless. Just absolutely priceless. <sighs> okay. So I think Holly may actually be the worst child. On these soap operas. Yeah, she she actually she 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 won the gold, the metal gold for being the absolute worst child that a parent has to deal with. I actually told you after that point, I would have I would have put it out in boarding school or boot camp. I'm not dealing with that. That's absolutely insane. Now don't get me wrong, when Nicole comes in there, she starts hovering. And Holly comes in with some nastiness. I mean, just straight up cruel. You know, about, oh, I don't want to be like you, and this, that, and the third, and just really nasty, right? And that wasn't even the worst. It was, and it, it was bad, right? And she was saying some very horrible things. They were bad. They weren't the worst. Now, Nicole's like, um, you didn't get back my trust, and so you're not going to go to the dance, and you know, I'm still worried, and blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, Nicole, you're doing too much. Okay? Because honestly, to tell you the truth, there's nothing stopping her from her going to school and doing the thing that I can't talk about on YouTube. That's the same thing as going to the prom. Nothing has changed. And you're an idiot for sitting there thinking otherwise. But when... You, you know, the sad part is that when she talks about her, her childhood growing up and stuff like that, dealing with what she had to deal with, the only thing that Holly said was, oh, yeah, you know, that's sad. What the hell is wrong with you? Then she brings up, you know, her child losses and just really says some cool stuff. You know, and I, I'm 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 paraphrasing this stuff. It was like you know, um, they were better off not you know you being a mother to them, and just like all sorts of god awful things, right? 
And so Nicole tries to hug her and she pushes her away and she runs out. And then Nicole and then Holly's dumb ass had the audacity to turn around and look like what did I do? Holly, you're a horrible human being. Okay? You are a horrible human being. I don't care about your tears. They mean nothing. You said the worst possible things to someone that you can possibly say. And then your dumb ass goes to Marlena and starts crying and everything like that, saying, well, I said some really harsh thing. I said some really mean and nasty things. So you know what you said. You know what you said. Now, it's Marlena's job, unfortunately, to sit there and deal with people like you and gives her some advice that she will probably follow, but I'm going to be honest. I, I, I'll be honest. There are certain lines that once you cross them, you can't take that stuff. You can't, you can't undo that. You cannot go backwards. You know, certain things are just there and, and they're going to stay there. You know, I don't know if I can ever actually forgive my child for saying something that hurtful. I don't think I have it in me. I'm going to be honest. I don't think I actually have it in me. I'd be mean, like, at that point, nah, your ass is going to boot camp. Or you're, you're going to boarding school. But I don't, I just, I don't feel like everything is meant to just be forgiven. I don't care if you're a parent or not. There's certain things that just go too far. Um, Steve is talking to Ava. Um, doesn't really go anywhere. They just talk about how he knows, um, you know, about the black book and um, the blackmail and everything like that. And long story short, Ava's like, I want to sit there and take care of him permanently. I want to take care of Clyde permanently. And at some point, Clyde and, I mean, at some point, Steve and John talk. And, you know, Steve's like, listen, if we ca if they capture him, you know we're all going to jail, right? John's like, yeah, well, we just got to sit there and prepare for that. And you sit there and see the look on Steve's face like, yeah, I don't really know about that. Um, <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about actually going to jail, bro. I'm not, I'm not exactly with that plan. Um... So Nicole is just hammered, right? She's hammered. And at the Eric visit, his parents calls Nicole, picks her up at the bar, takes her back home. Nicole, drunk in Nicole, starts kissing on Eric. And AJ says, right there. And I'm just like, you know, that's a trash ass move to what she's doing, right? I don't care if she's drunk or not. It's still a trash ass move. And with that being said, it's this lovely little thing called karma, right? You are getting screwed over. You didn't just lose your job. You lost your girl. Now, I know it's against bro code to be like... <laughs> but, I mean, if anyone deserves a bad day, it's, uh, it's definitely EJ. Um... <laughs> And I know that Holly has some resentment and stuff like that. One of the things she was saying was how important it was for her to be a good girl, to be a good daughter and stuff like that, you know, so this way I wouldn't run off any potential man that you have in your life. Um, and that's a lot of weight for anyone to sit there and have to deal with. But again, she just completely trashed her. So I have to tell you the truth, at this point, I don't give a damn what Holly has to say. I don't care if she cries, she apologizes. Certain things just can't be taken back. So, um, I'll start you from just like F Holly and the horse she rode in on. Anyway, I feel like that's about it. I can't think of anything else. But as always, sit there and say, come to the live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll sit there and talk about all the shows. Days of our lives, General Hospital, Bone and Beautiful, Young and the Restless, and whatever General Hospital is. Because for the past two days, it has just been, um, wow, boring to me. I can't sit there and say it's been trash. It's just been boring to me. Um, hopefully today will be a little more better than whatever the two messes that I saw the previous two days. And I will see you in the next video.